I do think, I, and I said Purdy probably has to win like two Super Bowls for people to really give him credit as being elite. But I might, I think I'm going to have to amend that. If he wins this MVP this year, Rob, and they win the Super Bowl, that'll probably do it. Because he, he's legitimately in the MVP race now. Like, he's there. Now, I, I think Christian McCaffrey is their best individual offensive player, or at least skill position. But yesterday, Christian McCaffrey didn't even average three yards a, a pop. Now, I thought he had a good game. He uh he did a lot of the dirty work, the lunch pail type stuff. I mean, he he was big. He ate up a lot of yards just with tough yards. But, you know, Debo had three catches, Ayuk had four. Uh, and and like I said, McCaffrey didn't do much, and Purdy was the star. So he's legitimately in that race for MVP. So if he wins that and the Super Bowl, he probably enters next year as a, as viewed as an elite quarterback. Okay. All right. Well, speaking of stinking, Rob, the New England Patriots. Unbelievable how bad it is. The last two games. So. Last week, Against the Dallas. Cowboys right. beat them 38-3, to which was the worst loss of Belichick's coaching career. 35 points. And then yesterday, the New Orleans Saints beat them 34-0, which is his worst loss at home in his career. 34 points, obviously. So, Rob... I look, and obviously Mac Jones hasn't lit lit anything on fire himself. But I want to ask you this: Who do you think deserves most of the blame for the debacle, which is the New England Patriots? And and look, let's go to the two most important positions: head coach and quarterback, because they get all most of the credit and most of the blame. So, which one of those two? Do you think is most to blame for this is just a nightmare season? It's, it's Bill Belichick. It, it, it's got to be Bill Belichick, Chris, for a couple of reasons. And I and Mac Jones hasn't played well, so I'm not even. Right. But it ain't, Nobody's they, trying. Okay, so then I get it. They're not scoring any, a lot of points or any points or whatever. But but a Bill Belichick team giving up 35, 38 not, every, every week? Remember, they started out pretty good, Chris, the first couple games of defense. Yep. You were like, hey, you know, like they're in these games. Right. Because the defense was there. And here's the other part. He's seen enough of Mac Jones. Pull a, pull a plug. Make a, make a call on it. You remember last uh, – remember he was running in those other two quarterbacks, Chris, Chris Zappi? Bailey Zappi. Yeah. yeah. So my point is, is this – is that he's the one with the groceries and making the meal and all that. And Bill Belichick is to blame that his his defense is awful. That's what we've always given him credit for, Chris. So we got to give him blame today, right? Yeah. He always yep. got credit. They always had a good defense, no matter what. They don't have that anymore. It's embarrassing. I get it. It looks worse when you don't score, but you can't give up 35 points in the NFL thinking you're winning any game. I, I don't care what you say. Look, and, and New Orleans, Rob, New Orleans have been anything but an offensive juggernaut. Their last game against uh, the Buccaneers, they scored nine points. They put up, what, four times that, essentially, against the Patriots. And it was easy, Chris. Against the Packers, was not... they scored 8-17. Right. They, they hadn't scored more than 20 points all year. And they go to New England and get 35? So I'm with you. I think Belichick is has the most blame for several reasons. One, he I think Rob he, I, I, he didn't he didn't just stunt Mac Jones's growth last year, right? Mac Jones had a nice rookie season. He really did. He led him to the playoffs. I mean, I, he wasn't the leader, but. He played solid, right? He looked like, you know what? This guy is, is a game manager. He's solid. He's smart. He makes good decisions. He's accurate. And they made the playoffs. And in your his second year, Rob, they brought in a defensive coordinator to 
to be the offensive coordinator? Matt Patricia? I mean, what that? I can't tell you how egregious of a mistake that is. And what? And how bad it set him back? There's no doubt yes. about it, Chris. I, there's no doubt. I about mean, that would Rob. That would be bad if Tom Brady or Patrick Mahomes is your quarterback when you got a second year guy. What are you doing? And that was just Belichick's arrogance of thinking I'm smarter than everybody else. Right. I'm th- I'm the smartest guy in the room. I'm going to do something so out of pocket. They're going to see what a genius I am. Yep. And it backfired, and the team was horrible, obviously. The offense was horrific. And Mac Jones has never been the same. Never. So that that was number one. Number two... He is the GM, remember. And so he brings in the players. And Rob, we saw him do this with Brady most of his career. He did bring in some talent when they brought in, you know, Randy Moss. And ironically, they didn't even win a Super Bowl with Moss. But Chad Johnson, you know, obviously Gronk. Well, he always felt like he could straighten them out. I remember he took yeah. all the leagues. Uh, so issues. maybe that was ego too. It was. It was like like they they. He and always, he actually looked at DeAndre Hopkins this year. Who was remember? the other guy? Uh, was it Hainsworth, Chris? Who was the guy in, from from Albert Hainsworth? Remember that I he was, was a problem in DC, and they they took a chance on him. It didn't want, it didn't work out in New England, but he was willing to take anybody's problems. If you yeah. remember that. And I Rob, e- even the greatest Mac Jones fan. We have to admit, and this is to use Coach Eric Mangini's term, he's not a force multiplier. He Mac Jones is not a guy that's going to take mediocre skill position players and make them great. Brady did that. And and Rob, Brady's last year in New England, he didn't look great. Because he, I think at that age, he could no longer do it. No, so no, he you left. remember that. There was, there was right. nobody there. The, the, the cover no. was bare. He left and goes to a place where they, they had some great skill positions. Leonard Fournette comes in. Gronk obviously joined him. Antonio Brown, Mike Evans, Chris Godwin. I mean, they were start, stacked, and they won the Super Bowl. And so for, for Bill Belichick to one not only stunt Mac Jones' growth, but actually take him backwards. And two, to not put more talented skill position players around him. It's all on him, man. And I look, we talked about it last week, and I and I stand by, and I think you do too. Let me know if you change your mind. You don't fire a Bill Belichick. No, no, no. But I do after this season, Rob, if I'm Robert Kraft. I have a conversation with him about bringing in, whether it's bringing in some help and different people in the front office or maybe having Bill just coach. Now, Bill might not like that, and that could lead to a parting of the way. Yeah, a parting but of the ways want, is fine. You, I, right, you there's, just there's want, to, I, hit, you want him going out with some dignity. Right. Uh, I don't want him to, we'll get to that, but let's finish this. You, you I don't want him... Uh, going out, you know, they, they treat the man with some respect for what he's done for your franchise. I don't mind parting ways, but we're not going to fire him. We'll let him go out mutually or he can retire or resign or whatever. But th- there needs to be some talk conversations after this season because he, he can't keep picking the team when this is what we come up with. Not, I mean, not not when you're getting embarrassed and losing the way that they're losing. Like there's one thing to lose, you know. Like you, you, you gotta, you, you're not, you don't have all the pieces, Chris, and you're competitive, right. and you lose. People can buy that and say, "Well, we're in a rebuilding. We got some young players." But to go out and get demolished every night, no, no one is going to. That's not going to feel good. And and imagine the fans if you're a New England Patriots oh. fan. Like you have never oh, had to known sit for through 20 that. Years, exactly huh? for a generation. There's a lot right. of kids who grew up. They never seen them. This bad. We have. We remember right. the old Patriots, and yep. they were bad. But you're right. Most people, if you get five or ten years of greatness, that's like, that's that's great. They got 20 years. They got a whole generation. So you're right. 